actress Jenny Maxwell left a lasting impression in Hollywood with her memorable roles. Though her time in the spotlight was tragically short, many still hold fond memories of her performances. Share your favorite memories or stories about this beloved actor in the comment entrance below. Stay tuned for more interesting facts, some funny, some shocking, and some sad. Keep watching for more. Born in 1941 in New York City, Jenny Maxwell grew up in a loving family environment with her parents and siblings. She developed a passion for acting at a young age and pursued it as a career. During her childhood, she participated in school plays and local theater productions, refining her acting skills with the support of her family. In 1959, she landed her first major role in the film Blue Denim as Janet Willard, marking the start of her Hollywood journey. Her performance received praise, showcasing her talent and potential. Throughout her career, she appeared in various films and television shows, including Blue Hawaii alongside Elvis Presley. Despite facing challenges, she remained dedicated to her craft, securing roles in different projects. Her early life experiences, supportive family, and passion for acting shaped her career. She left a lasting impression on the entertainment industry, remembered for her talent and work in film and television. Los Angeles criminal attorney Irvin M. Tiproder, age 60, and his wife, Jennifer Maxwell, age 39, were tragically killed in a robbery attempt as they entered their apartment lobby near the Beverly Hills, Los Angeles boundary on a Wednesday afternoon in June 1981. Jennifer Maxwell, known for her roles in films of the late 50s and early 60s, notably starred in the Elvis Presley movie Blue Hawaii. In it, she played Ellie Corbett, a spoiled party girl who Elvis eventually tames by spanking her on the beach. She gained recognition as a 1960 Deb star, marking a significant moment in her career. Her presence in the entertainment industry during that era left a lasting impact, especially through her performance in Blue Hawaii. Her untimely death in 1981 was a shock to many, leaving behind a mark in film history. Jenny Maxwell, the talented actress, shared her life with an attorney named Irvin Roeder, whose clients included the famous actor Nick Adams. Sadly, Adams' death in 1968 was officially declared a suicide, but doubts remained. Some, like Tip, suspected foul play. In 1992, John Austin wrote a book suggesting Irvin's involvement in Adams' death due to financial disagreements. However, the book lacked solid evidence. Amidst the mystery surrounding Irvin Roeder, Jenny found comfort in her admiration for Audrey Hepburn. Hepburn was Jenny's idol and a source of inspiration. Jenny once auditioned for the lead role in Lolita, but lost it to Sue Lyon. Jenny Maxwell's life story was filled with admiration for Hepburn, suspicions about her husband's connections, and questions about Nick Adams' death. Her life's journey, with its mix of light and shadow, offers insight into Hollywood's intriguing past. This narrative, blending admiration and intrigue, reveals the layers of a life. Actress Jenny Maxwell faced tough times both in her personal life and career. She had struggles forming connections with others, partly because of fame and the pressures of showbiz. Her relationships were often rocky, and the public eye made it all the more challenging to find stability. Jenny also battled personal issues that affected her mental well-being. Dealing with the ups and downs of fame was tough, and it took a toll on her happiness and relationships. Despite these challenges, Jenny remained determined to act. It was her way of expressing herself and finding relief from her troubles. She showed resilience in the face of adversity. In the end, Jenny's story teaches us about the hardships of fame and the importance of staying strong through tough times. Despite everything, she kept going, leaving a mark that continues to inspire others. Jenny Maxwell, an actress known for her roles in several films, had an eventful life. Her first husband, Paul Rapp, worked in entertainment too. Despite their divorce in January 1963, they had a son named Brian. Jenny initially lost custody of Brian, but later got partial custody in the late 1960s. Her second husband, Irvin Tiproder, was much older than her and had children from a previous marriage. They got married in 1970. Tragically, Roeder found the body of his client, actor Nick Adams, who died from a drug overdose in 1968. There were rumors that Jenny, estranged from Roeder at the time, might have been involved in a situation related to her husband. However, she was only wounded, while Roeder succumbed to his injuries later on. Jenny unfortunately died instantly from her injuries. Jenny and Paul Rapp's son, Brian Gregory Rapp, was born in Los Angeles on July 28, 1960. Despite the challenges in her personal life, 
Jenny made a significant impact in the entertainment industry through her acting roles. Jenny Maxwell, a talented actress known for her roles in several movies and television shows, had a tragic end to her life. Despite her promising career, her life ended shockingly and sadly. In 1981, she and her husband were brutally murdered by a robber in their home. This devastating event shocked the entertainment industry and left fans mourning the loss of a promising talent. Maxwell began her acting career in the late 1950s, quickly gaining recognition for her performances. She appeared in notable films such as Blue Hawaii alongside Elvis Presley and Take Her, She's Mine with James Stewart and Sandra Dee. Maxwell also made appearances on popular TV shows like The Twilight Zone and Dr. Kildare, showcasing her versatility as an actress. Despite her success in the entertainment industry, Maxwell's life was tragically cut short. Her untimely death serves as a reminder of the dangers that can lurk even in the seemingly safest of places. Known for her captivating performances in movies such as Blue Hawaii and The Wayward Bus, Jenny Maxwell's life took a tragic turn that changed her promising career forever. In 1981, she and her husband faced an unimaginable horror when a robber invaded their home, leading to a devastating and fatal outcome. The shocking news spread throughout the entertainment industry, leaving fans and colleagues in disbelief. The loss of this talented actress was deeply felt, and the industry mourned the untimely end of a bright star. Jenny Maxwell's legacy, once filled with promise, became shadowed by senseless violence. Her departure reminds us of life's fragility beyond the glamour of fame, emphasizing our vulnerability. Despite the darkness surrounding her final moments, her work continues to inspire new generations, a reminder of the power of talent, even in tragedy. The story of Jenny Maxwell, cut short by a senseless act, resonates through time, underscoring life's transient nature. In Hollywood Tales, hers stands out not just for the role she portrayed, but for the poignant reminder it offers that even the brightest stars can be delimited by life's harsh realities. Certainly! Here's a revised version, a sad fact about Jenny Maxwell is her tragic death at 39. She was sadly murdered during a robbery in her home. Her passing shocked many in the entertainment industry. Despite her promising career, her life was cut short, leaving a gap in the industry. Jenny Maxwell, known for her roles in movies like Blue Denim and Take Her, She's Mine, had a career marked by talent and potential. She started acting young, showing her skills in various TV shows and films. Her performances were often praised for being real and heartfelt. However, her life took a tragic turn when she was a victim of a robbery. The incident not only ended her life, but also left her family, friends, and fans in shock and sorrow. Maxwell's death reminds us how unpredictable life can be, even for those in the spotlight. Despite the tragedy, Jenny Maxwell's work in entertainment is remembered warmly. Her talent and dedication left a lasting impression on those who saw her. Though her life was short, her work continues to touch audiences today.